after an absence of three years due to the pandemic. Confectionery production returns to the US for the Sweets and Snacks Expo in Chicago, which marked its 25th anniversary. We catch up with some key businesses, including Barry Calibo, Ferrara and Haribo, as well as emerging firms such as the UK's Freedom Mellows, as they all contend to make their mark on what proved to be an exceptionally memorable event, packed full of plenty of surprises, representing the best and the brightest innovations from right across the confectionery and snack sectors. This was the 25th anniversary of the Sweets and Snacks Expo and of course a return to Chicago. It's been so wonderful to be together. The excitement on the floor has been palpable. You can feel it um, and, and the vibes have been incredible. Sorry. My main highlight is getting to be back together with everyone. There was such an appetite for people to be able to come back together and do business in person. There is nothing like being able to be here at the Sweets and Snacks Expo all together. So it's really been incredible to be back together and I would say that has to be the highlight. What have, you, uh, have you been impressed by the sort of sheer range of businesses that have been out there this year? I'm always really impressed by the innovation in the industry. Every year we see products getting more and more creative, more and more exciting, and we've seen a lot of interesting trends out on the floor. One is a big explosion of s'mores flavors, everything from confectionery to snack products incorporating the s'more. We're seeing a lot of extreme flavors as well, very spicy, very sour, anything that's really turning up that flavor to, to 10 and beyond. Um, we're talking about a concept called nostalgia, so people's old classic favorites reimagined in different ways. And then of course, our manufacturers wanting to meet consumers where they want to be met. And that's everything from different types of ingredients to package sizing that allows for portioning in different ways. We've had 16,000 people come to the show this year. They visited more than 700 exhibitors across four and a half acres of show floor. And it's just such a wonderful thing to see everybody back together. It has been a challenging time, but chocolate, candy, and snacks have been able to bring people that joy, sweetness, and excitement throughout this difficult time. And it's never been more evident that, the, that these categories are so vital to the lives of Americans and to people around the world. The show itself, it's a very special one with it being the 25th anniversary. How are you feeling about being part of that? You're right. Really exciting 25th anniversary and, you know, it's, it's great to be back. Um, yes, we had our, you know, we had the Sweets and Snacks last year on a smaller scale for obvious reasons. But we haven't been here since 2019 and in a big way. So we're really excited. Um, I think it's a good culmination of everyone's back, everyone's energized, everyone I think is just plain excited to see each other and have conversations about business and products and not have to do it over a, you know, a computer screen or over Zoom. So I think with that, with, and then the energy of that, like you said, the 25th birthday, um, I will tell you it's even, Ironically, Barry Calvo's 25th birthday this year of our merger that we came together 25 years ago. So it's a, it's a win-win for us and we're excited to be a part of it. Yes, it's, it's really going well. We are actually showcasing our chocolate solutions along with the chef concepts back here behind me. Um, but they all fit into one of those three indulgence types. So intense and healthy, but you're right. We're real excited about the mindful indulgence one because that's where we do have our plant based solutions. So thus far, we've heard great things, a lot of excitement from customers. Um, again, across really all the solutions, because there's a place in the market for all of them. So uh, we're real excited to have our customers. It's been an exciting day one, and look forward to the next couple days and hearing more from our customers and what they think. We have been able to bring some new news today locally around our plant-based solutions and really the comprehensive nature of those and the breadth of solutions that we have for our customers. But specifically, yes, we brought forward today our new dairy-free organic chocolate capability and product line. So we believe this, yes, it just brings another tool in the toolkit for our customers. So they're able to look to this growth for the future around plant-based and, and therefore we feel great that we're able to arm them with the right tools so they can meet those needs in the marketplace with their customers. That's brilliant.
Neil, it's, um, it's absolutely fabulous uh, to, to be here on the 25th anniversary and of course for Freedom Marshmallows to be here on our first time exhibiting at the Sweets and Snacks here in Chicago of all cities is absolutely amazing and congratulations to the organizers for putting on a great 25th birthday party. How has the American market taken to your brand? A super, absolutely brilliant. You know, we've, um, as you know, we've, we've been around since 2013 established. We've got the world's original and only all-inclusive marshmallow, which leaves nobody about. That means it's vegan and 14 allergy free. And to come to a show this big with some really big manufacturers and brands, there's some also some amazing, awesome smaller brands just coming out into the market with vegan and allergy free products. So it's great for us. It's, um, it's wonderful to be on the showcase. And, in terms of the wider trends here, the vegan market appears to be uh, growing gradually here, would you say? It's coming, it's here. It's not here in masses, but it's coming. And there's little pockets all over the USA opening up. But the real thing is it's here. And the real thing is that uh, allergy free from is here. Not maybe 14 allergy free, but it's starting and uh, people are thinking about it. People are thinking about the diets, how they you know, present products, how they make products. So there's some activation and it's great to be part of that. We've, uh, we've walked the show, we've walked a lot of the show, and it's super busy, super great brands, loads of sweets, loads of things that maybe you wouldn't see in other, in other shows. And again, America, one big whole country, but boy, have they got some great producers, fabulous producers. Indeed, and just finally, uh, in terms of your own operations here, how important is the export business to you now? It's, uh, it's crucial, it's, um, it's a big part of our business. As a British company to be able to operate in the USA is, is very proud, very proud of what we've established uh, globally. The USA has a lot to offer. Our export here is important, but then again, we are investing in the country. The infrastructure we're putting of warehousing, distribution, and, uh, and just making sure that we, we make, you know, we've got everything in place that we can operate as a, as a supplier and a manufacturer of, of, of our products. Uh, we've got now a team dedicated uh, here in the USA. That's driven by uh, our own, one of our own shareholders, Paul. And um, it's about, he's, he's now got a grip of this and he'll take that forward and we'll support it. As I said, we've got the right infrastructure in place, which means is we can then deal with whatever challenges we have coming along. We're looking forward to it. Uh, watch out America because uh, we're bringing the world's original and only 14 allergy free vegan marshmallow to you to try, to love and, uh, and share it with all your customers. We're really excited to be here, especially in Chicago. Fannie Mae was uh, started here over 102 years ago in Chicago. So uh, being here to celebrate 25 years of sweets and snacks in our hometown, um, especially after the amazing growth year that Fannie Mae has had, uh, being the number one fastest growing chocolate brand, premium chocolate brand in the country. It's, it's been a really great show, super exciting time to show everybody all of our new innovations. Fannie Mae is releasing a line of premium chocolate bars uh, that are in really delicious Americana taste profiles. Two milks, two darks, um, and really trying to offer customers that true choice with um, delicious, unique flavor profiles like dark mint cookie, uh, pecan brittle, butterscotch with sea salt, and uh, dark, cho or dark chocolate with almond sea salt. And then our other innovation is our chocolate tears mix, which is really driving um, uh, that indulgence. So it's our sophisticated indulgent snack mix, and it comes in again, you know, Americana profiles. Nostalgia is really important to customers right now. They want to feel connected to things that make them feel good and emotionally happy. And um, our flavor profiles do that with Rocky Road, uh, S'mores, just to name a couple of them. Become part of the Ferrero family in recent years. So, how much of a difference has that made to you in terms of developing the company? We have. Um, it's been it's been a really fun ride. I've been with Fannie Mae for seven years, so about two years prior to the acquisition. And uh, you know, being a part of Ferrero with the investment and in all of the resources that Ferrero has been able to offer Fannie Mae, we went from being a declining brand to being the fastest growing premium chocolate in in the country. So. 
um, you know, just the network of opportunity and resources with innovation and research and uh, knowledge that the Ferrero team has been able to infuse into Fannie Mae has really just been instrumental in turning this brand around. Yes, the, bland, the brand is doing really well. Um, I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of really good things to come from Fannie Mae. Um, and, you know, we just want to keep delighting chocolate lovers and keep bringing them new innovations, but also keeping and delivering those wonderful recipes that we've been doing for the past hundred years that people love. So while it's being true to our roots and being true to our values, it's also about uh, finding that new opportunity to bring in younger customers and give people a new reason to try Fanny Bay. I, I think it's incredible. It's so it's so wonderful to be back and see some of our counterparts across the industry connect with our customers and then see a lot of our friends um, across across brands. The 25th anniversary is material, but I think what's even more material is the fact that we're back together again. It really, in earnest, after being managing through unprecedented times, to have this opportunity to to talk. To face to face, not on a Zoom, to celebrate some of the things that we're doing as an industry, to celebrate across our, our brands as well. And as a Ferrara uh, business, we couldn't be more excited to be part of this business. Absolutely. And it's a big year in terms of the awards as well. The Nerds has just uh, emerged yeah. triumphant. How do you feel about that? I think, it, well, it, that's unbelievable. And, and, and as I said before, this is a once in a lifetime innovation. Nerds Gummy Cluster has been. It's really the next level of that, if that non-chocolate confections experience. It was an honor to have won the, the best in show previously for the original Nerds Gummy Clusters, and then now to be recognized again um, for for Nerds Nerds Gummy Clusters. Very, very, it's amazing. Uh, obviously, we've been through some very challenging times with the pandemic, uh, but what you said earlier that there's uh, some hope ahead that yeah. the year is going to continue the the growth trend. Yeah. The growth is there, the category is growing itself, and Ferrara is growing ahead of the category. I, I see as we get to the end, let's all hope, fingers crossed, but I do think the momentum's there. We're seeing the traffic go back to our customers in across the channels, and consumers are continuing to enjoy the treat that Confections is. We're so excited to celebrate 100 years of Gold Bears. They're our iconic product invented in 1922. And this year for our 100th birthday, we're celebrating with a bunch of limited edition products and a consumer sweepstakes and a social media campaign. The most of what we hear from our consumers about what they love about Haribo is the quality. Our quality is consistent and every bag that they pick, it is heartwarming. It's, it harkens back to nostalgia and it makes people happy. That is what our brand is about, giving them a little bit of joy and respite during the day. Our star bag of Gold Bears now features a blue raspberry party hat to invite everybody to celebrate Gold Bears with us. So you'll see in each bag's party hats. And in addition to a party hat, we've also heard from our consumers they want single flavor bags and they have favorites. So. We have an all blue raspberry bag of our gold bears, and we additionally have a full bag of pineapple because that is a fan favorite. And we hear all the time our consumers saying, can we please have a full bag of pineapple? Let us have the clear ones. So we're so proud to be able to deliver that to consumers to celebrate our birthday. And lastly, we have a full bag of watermelon flavored gold bears, which is a hugely popular flavor, especially heading into summer. And we've heard about that from our other watermelon product in our portfolio. So it's a quality flavor, it smells of watermelon, and it brings summer happiness. And for us, it is the perfect occasion to celebrate, to be back in Chicago in person. And we're thrilled to celebrate our 100th birthday of Gold Bears. Two years ago, we celebrated 100 years of Haribo. So it's a big time for our brand. And we're about to open our first ever US manufacturing facility to continue that celebration. Things are looking very well. We are seeing the gummy category grow exponentially and we're the leaders of that category. And for us, Haribo quality is unbeatable and that's why we've seen 100 years of gold bears. And so we are well positioned to succeed into the future because our focus is on gummy. Uh, what are your impressions of the show so far? Yeah, this is my first visit to the show and obviously first visit back to the US since the pandemic and really, really 
um, excited to be here and really impressed actually with the variety, um, the product innovations that we've seen and um, there's a, a few UK companies that are exhibiting here already but we want to encourage more to come next year. We think it's, it's really got a strong focus on the confectionery and snacking categories which are key strengths for the UK um, industry. So yeah, we want to thank the uh, US National Confectioners Association for supporting us. Uh, we've brought a UK, small UK delegation this year and they've supported us by arranging some store visits. Um, companies have been able to see what the show is about and the focus for them and where they would fit in. Um, and yeah, we, we think it plays you know, really to the strengths of the UK confectionery sector and offers a great opportunity to connect with UK import, uh, sorry, US importers and uh, yeah, find new, new business here in the US. The show uh, reviving after the pandemic times here, how welcome is it from your perspective that we're actually here? Oh, absolutely, they are thrilled to be here, believe me. Um, it's been a very tough time, um, but yeah, we can see through some of the reports that NRA um, shared with us the other day that confectionery as a sector is growing. Um, that certainly, I've had confectionery and snacking companies come to me asking, you know, when can they get back to in-person events, when can they start meeting the trade, and I think this is really, really shown that there is an appetite there for UK brands and uh, yeah, people are impressed by what we do and they want to buy it. So.